What is up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys the exact roadmap that I would take if I had to restart my cybersecurity career without spending a single dollar. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben. I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future uploads. And a little bit about me, I've been working in cybersecurity for two years now, and I make videos like this one on my channel to help you guys also break into cybersecurity. Now, throughout this video, I'll be mentioning a lot of different resources and links but if you want the document that contains all of these links and resources all in one place all you need to do is sign up for my newsletter i'll leave a link in the description box below and i'll send over the exact document that contains all of these links that i mentioned in this video so with that being said let's go ahead and get right into the video so one of the most common beginner mistakes when people are looking to start learning cybersecurity is they want to jump straight into cybersecurity concepts and using tools and hacking stuff but a lot of times the most important part is getting the basics and the it fundamentals because having this foundational knowledge will help you so much in learning these different cybersecurity concepts and also knowing how to use different tools. So the first step in this roadmap is going to be learning the IT and cybersecurity fundamentals. And if you have no clue where to start to learn these concepts, one of the best places to start is roadmap.sh. So roadmap.sh is a completely free website that has a complete roadmap on everything you need to know when it comes to learning cybersecurity, especially with the basics and foundational knowledge. So throughout this website, you'll see a bunch of different resources and all these boxes. And if you click on one, it'll actually pull up several links that you can use to either link you to a direct resource or also just a video that goes over and explains how that specific term or concept works. So throughout this roadmap, there's several different sections. So the top part, you have fundamental IT skills, and you can see that this first one right here is the computer hardware components and right here they have a video that links to a youtube video going over some of the basics of computer hardware and it's pretty much that same thing for all of these different terms and concepts they also have an operating systems uh, section right over here there's a networking knowledge section right over here which is really really important and then next after you get the foundational knowledge uh, of networking and computer hardware you go into the basics of security skills and knowledge and this is going to take you a good chunk of of time because there's so much to learn about. And then last but not least, there's also a cloud skills and knowledge section followed with a programming skills uh, section as well. So this website is going to be a perfect place to start if you're a beginner who has no idea what to learn and also where to learn it. So this is going to teach you all the basics of computer hardware, networking, and cybersecurity concepts. And one of the main tips that I want to bring up is, especially if you're a beginner, don't just go through the motions, don't just watch the videos and try to rush through them. What I want you to do is really focus on each of them, really enjoy the process of learning these different concepts and terminology and really learn to understand rather than learn to just check a box and rush through and try to get a certification. Really try and take your time to understand these concepts and comprehend them before moving on. One other point that I also wanted to mention is that throughout this roadmap, you'll have several opportunities to also get hands on and not just go through theory and go through the motion. So for example, in the operating system section, you have the Linux module where you can actually go out of your way and download a VM or a virtual machine to get hands on with using Linux operating system. So using the command line and learning how to navigate through a Linux terminal, things of that sort. So another example could be the programming skills section where you go through Python and PowerShell. These are also opportunities for you to get really hands on and get familiar with these programming languages and knowing how to use them. So like I said before, don't just go through the motion, but really take your time and get hands on as much as possible, especially within this beginner stage of your learning career. So once you have a basic understanding of IT, networking, and cybersecurity concepts, the next thing you could probably look into is going to be the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity Certification. This certification is completely free and it goes over the basics of cybersecurity and it tests you on that knowledge. ISC Squared is a really reputable organization that's recognized throughout cybersecurity. So having a certification from them would be a really good thing to have on your resume. And on top of that, the training for this certification is free. However, I believe the membership is $100 a year or something like that. So that will be a good first certification to consider taking, especially at this point in your learning. So now that we have the basics under our belt, the next step is going to be starting to get some hands-on experience with different labs. And some of the best places to start is going to be Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. These are two of the most popular cybersecurity training platforms that give you hands-on experience through labs and using different tools. And what's cool about them is that they make it in a gamified way where it's really fun and interesting to follow along 
long and it's sort of like solving a puzzle or a mystery. Both of these platforms offer some form of either free trial or a free learning path. So it's going to be a really good opportunity for you to get some free hands-on experience using these different tools and learning how to go through a CTF kind of learning method. Try Hack Me and Hack the Box also offer several different modules that go over several different specialties in cybersecurity, not only just red teaming and blue teaming, but also different other specialties. So if you guys really enjoy the platforms, maybe consider subscribing and getting a premium membership to those just because it's really affordable. It's only maybe 10 to 20 bucks a month, but you get access to unlimited lab environments and different learning modules. And to be honest, guys, I'm not sponsored by them to even mention them in this video. They're actually really one of the best places to get started. Now, I also wanted to mention a website called KC7 Cyber, and it's a free website that's actually been developed by Microsoft cybersecurity professionals. And it's similar to Try Hack Me and Hack the Box, where it's a gamified kind of CTF capture the flag style of learning. And KC7 specifically focuses on everything involving the blue team. So if you're someone who wants to become a cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst responding to different threats and investigating different things, the KC7 cyber modules are going to be a perfect place for you to get hands-on experience for completely free. Another cool part of it is that KC7 will give you access to using hands-on tools that Microsoft really uses in their security posture. So you're going to be able to get some hands-on experience with tools that real Microsoft professionals use on a daily basis. And that's something you can really add onto your resume as well. And it'll look really good. And last but not least, one of the other free ways to get some free hands-on experience under your belt is going to be building your own home labs. So this means installing a virtual machine on your computer, whether it be a VMware, VirtualBox, or Docker like I've done before, and creating your own home lab to tinker with, mess around with, and experiment with. There's so many different ideas when it comes to building your own home lab and your own experiments, but some ideas could include things like a keylogger, spinning up your own SIM and fitting it different logs, deploying your own AWS instance and configuring it. There's so many different ideas and different labs to do, but I'll leave that to you to do your own research and find out which labs that you would be most interested in completing. You can find different ideas throughout YouTube and Google. And one of the biggest tips I would have for you, especially when you're in this phase of getting some hands-on experience, is making sure you document everything you're doing, whether it be taking notes, screenshots, or even write-ups, explaining what you're doing and what it's accomplishing, and posting them on your own blog, your own newsletter, your own LinkedIn profile. These are going to be some great ways for you to get some eyes on your progress and your learning and showing to potential recruiters that you're someone who is eager to learn, who's going out of your way to learn these different skills, and also someone who is more than willing to learn, which is exactly what they're looking for for a junior level position. One of the most important things you can do as a beginner is getting more and more eyes on you and expanding your network, and this is going to be a great place to start. So now that we have the basics of cybersecurity down and we have some hands-on experience with using different tools and building your own labs, the next step in my progression as someone who is a complete beginner in cybersecurity is starting to get an idea of exactly what you want to specialize in in cybersecurity. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm completely new to cybersecurity, how I even know what I want to specialize in. But one tip that I would have for you, especially as someone who's been working in cybersecurity for two years now, the importance of understanding what you want to do in cybersecurity. So first of all, if you're not aware, cybersecurity is a huge, huge industry. You can be doing so many different things and you're still working in cybersecurity. You could be hacking, you could be protecting systems, you could be doing more documentation and business focused type work. You could be doing threat intelligence. You could be do detection engineering, information security officer type work. You could be doing cybersecurity sales. There's so many different niches and pockets in cybersecurity. So especially if you're someone just starting off, getting even a sort of a glimmer or even a small percentage of exactly what you want to do is going to be really important for you to guide you in the right direction on what exactly what you need to learn and what you want to focus on. Because if you're someone who knows they want to break into cybersecurity, but you have no idea what you want to specialize in, it's going to be tough for you to structure down your studying and really narrow down your focus onto one certain skill set. So my recommendation for you is to get an idea of what you want to do in cybersecurity, what you want to specialize in, and then from there, creating a plan to learn those skills needed for that role. And once you land your first job in cybersecurity, you can always pivot to different types of roles. A lot of these skills kind of go hand in hand with each other. So it's not the end of the world if you choose a specialization right now and you want to change in the future. So one of the best ways to figure out exactly which specialization is going to be the best fit for you is first of all, understanding what your current skill set is, understanding what your interests are, so what you want to be doing in cybersecurity and what you find interesting, and also what you would want to be doing long term and you don't mind doing every single 
single day. I think those are the three main ingredients of finding a role that would be a really good fit for you. And maybe you can use AI to do some reflection and figure out which one is the right fit for you. I've also made a video in the past going over the different types of skills and personality types and which ones fit what kind of roles best in cybersecurity. I'll leave a link to that video somewhere over here. Another great way to figure out whether or not you like a certain specialty is going to be using those platforms that I mentioned before, like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and going through those different modules that go for different specialties and figuring out whether or not you enjoy that type of work and whether you find it interesting or not. So now that you have a better grasp of what kind of role you want in cybersecurity, another thing that I want you to consider doing is getting some more basic understanding of cloud security and how cloud works. And the best ways to learn these things is through the actual company themselves. So AWS and Microsoft both offer free trainings when it comes to learning how to use their cloud systems. And the beginner level certifications that they offer, like the AWS Cloud Practitioner and the Microsoft AZ900 are both pretty affordable. I believe they're around $100. So those would also be some really good beginner level certifications you can start getting under your belt when you're ready to start investing into these more beginner to intermediate level certifications. Now, the next step in my free roadmap is going to be immersing yourself in the free content and free online communities. And when I say this, I mean joining different subreddits, going through different podcasts, watching different YouTube channels, and really immersing yourself within the cybersecurity community, see what people are talking about, see what people are interested in, see what kind of trends are going on, and really doing a deep dive on the cybersecurity community and getting interested on what cybersecurity has to offer. Not only will this keep you up to date, but it'll also help you find your community online and people who are like-minded. So this is going to be a great way for you to stay up to date and stay interested in cybersecurity and also potentially expanding your network within cybersecurity. And like I mentioned before in the beginning of this video, I'll create a document that contains all of these different podcasts, all of these subreddits, all of these resources that I mentioned in this video, all in one document. Just make sure to go ahead and check out the newsletter link in my description box below. And the next step of my free roadmap is going to be attending different conferences and local meetups and expanding your network. This also means showing your work. So like I said before, building out your portfolio, documenting your progress publicly online through your own blog posts or through your own LinkedIn profile, creating your own GitHub and tracking your progress that way. These are going to be some great ways for you to expand your network and really get that spotlight onto you because you never know what kind of opportunities can arise from it. And that is going to be my free cybersecurity roadmap. There's some more resources that I wanted to mention in this video, but if you actually go to my last video I made on this channel, I actually went over five free training resources you can take today that are completely free. So make sure you go ahead and check out that video as well. But this video was really meant to show you guys how to learn the basics and fundamental knowledge for completely free and also some of the principles you need in order to keep on progressing your career and expanding your knowledge through free and also paid methods. I want to thank you guys for watching this far in the video. But one thing that I want to mention before you head out on this video is the fact that you can get really far in terms of using free cybersecurity resources and self-learning. But at one point, once you learn all the basics and foundational knowledge and getting some more advanced level certifications that look good on your resume, you will have to consider investing more money up front for these different types of certifications. So for example, the Security Plus certification costs a couple hundred dollars, but in my opinion, that investment is worth it because it's one of the most popular entry-level cybersecurity certifications that almost every cybersecurity job requires nowadays. So at one point, once you learn all the basics and you exhaust all the free resources out there possible, you will have to consider investing money into these different certifications. One of the best ways to do so is getting a job that will pay for these different trainings and certifications for you. But if you can't, you will have to consider going ahead and investing into these certifications that will really increase your opportunities and potential to land a first job in cybersecurity. So when it comes to roadmaps, most beginners fail because they want to go straight into learning hacking and different cybersecurity tools. But this roadmap that I showed you just now today is going to teach you the basics of cybersecurity, IT, and networking and equip you with the knowledge you need to go ahead and continue to expand your knowledge and also look forward into potential more advanced and intermediate level certifications and training. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. That is how I would restart my cybersecurity career if I had no money in the bank and I wanted to do it for completely free. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop me a like as it really helps out the algorithm and my channel. And also be sure to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And also be sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at cyberwithben. And be sure to go ahead and sign up for my newsletter in the description box below so you can get that document with all the links that I mentioned in this video. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you
you guys in next week's video. Peace.